Well, first of all, we have this pretty sharp wind blowing straight into my face, which means it's blowing into the microphone. Um, there is one of those furry thingamajigs <laughs> covering the mic, so that should get rid of some of the wind noise, but you'll just have to put up with it, as I am. Okay, so here we are at what I call the end of the line, and it's, it's not the end of the line, it's just where the Amstel makes a bend, as you see over there, it sort of curves around this corner. And I, I don't know that it, what it is, it's this composition of buildings here. Now today the sun is out, but it's, um, you do get this, in the summer you get this evening sun and these buildings light up in a way and it's amazing. And they look like a magical fortress and suddenly the imagination you know, uh, kicks into play and you start thinking of what kind of worlds, but it's sort of, it, it looks very futuristic, but there's something organic about it as well. So sometime in the summer, I'll have another look at this place or I'll show you this, this spot here. So I like it then. If we turn left a little bit and look, whoops, straight ahead. So you're looking up the Amstel towards central, uh, to, towards the center of Amsterdam. Yeah, I'm sure you're getting that wild wind. Um, I'm not going to scream <laughs> because I think that's just, it'll be bad for my voice. So I hope you hear me above the wind. I'm sorry for any oral inconvenience. Um, all right, so uh, here, this, this grass patch in front of us here, in the summer it's full of people bathing and uh, it's just a completely different world, it has a completely different energy, but that's how summer is, summer is, 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 is very much alive, and winter is, <laughs> is, well, we're just getting by kind of thing, anyway the sun's out, that makes everything delightfully, uh, well a lot better, I'm just going to walk up this pier, because I'm standing on a little pier so you can see it there, and you, you see a couple of birds, but I'm going to go to the end of the pier and show you where the Amstel vanishes, or how the Amstel vanishes into a, another distance. Um, I know, I, I, uh, I, I was going to tell you the name of this place, but um, it has something to do, to do with Outer Kerk, which is <laughs> probably not very helpful, but that's what it is. But you see there. You see the Amstel disappearing off into the distance. You also see a gathering of birds, and they always look like they're consulting one another, which, um, in a way, that's the root of the idea of me having the gulls as therapists. Uh, that's in the emotional... <laughs> I find it very silly to say the emotional episode, but that's what it was, the emotional episode. So here we are at uh, the end of the line, the metaphorical end of the line. See the sun's disappeared. You see way in the distance uh, one building. I'm not sure what building. Oh yeah, that's that, um, that, that white build way, way, way in the distance. That bit of white. That's the Amst uh, I think Port of Amsterdam. That's that new building. Um, uh, oh yeah, I was saying the sun has disappeared. So you see now this composition is grey. And there you caught sight of a train vanishing. And on that ever-graying note, so I'll just spin around once so you can have a look at the architecture. Oh, there's a nice view, actually, through this building, the clouds. You see them in the distance? So there you have this completely free 360 degrees view of the place I'm standing. And we'll turn back towards the center of the city. And from here, we can say goodbye. <laughs>